Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another juice tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pro Juicer itself. So the Pro Juicer is what comes with when you actually download juice and it's a way to actually get your first project started when you're looking to build your first juice application. So when you first open juice, you'll be presented with this screen or you can, if, you, if you're not, you can actually go up here to file and do new project and then this should bring up this screen okay then you can see over here on the left hand side that you have a couple different types of applications that you can actually build so you have a blank application which basically has nothing uh, and these are templates to help you kind of get started they provide you with the basic source files that you need to build that type of application so a ui application just has a uh, basically a window where you can actually start building and using some graphics but it doesn't have any sort of facilities for audio uh, input and output and that sort of thing then you have your audio application which is uh, where you can build a standalone audio application. Then you have your plugin application down here, which is where you can actually build a VST or AU or AAX plugin. And the audio and basic, uh, the audio application and the basic plugin application are the ones that I tend to use. Uh, sometimes I'll use a UI application if I'm just trying to uh, show an example or build something very quickly, uh, something visual. Okay, so for this one, we'll just use a UI application. Coming over here to the right side of your producer, now you can give your project a name. So I will just call this sample. Below that, we have a module section where you can actually, uh, so Juice is more of kind of a collection of libraries. So you have different libraries that you can include or disclude from your juice project. As you can see, some of them are checked in here because we're creating a template. Uh, you have others that you can include, uh, such as like a DSP library, you have OpenGL library, so on and so forth, but they're uh, not included because we don't need them just yet. So I will just leave that as is. And then we have the path to the modules. So normally, in at least on a Mac, those will be in the applications folder. And then we have our exporter section. So we uh, have checked in Xcode as uh, our choice of integrated development environment or IDE. And if we were on Windows, then we would probably have like Visual Studio and so on. Uh, and then that's it. So what I could do is I can actually create this project just going down here to the bottom right by and hit create project. And then I would just choose desktop to actually create the project. I hit open and now it's created my project. So once it's created the project, then you have your source files here. So we have three source files, uh, main, main component and main component.cpp. Okay, we'll go through those in future tutorials and show you some of the basics around those. So those are your source files. And then below that, you have your module section. So that corresponds with what we uh, did uh, when we were actually creating the project where we included certain modules. What you can do is if you wanna create uh, other, if you wanna include other modules, what you can do is you can hit this plus bottom uh, plus button down here at the bottom and I hit that and you hit add a module then I'm going to go to global juice modules path and what I can do is I can include something else now I'll just for example include this juice DSP library and so now I've included this and we can see that it's in red and we have a warning down here that says that the modules have missing dependencies so what this means is that the juice DSP module depends on other modules in order for it to function. And so what I need to do is I need to either remove the module, which will just remove the DSP module from uh, our list of included libraries, or I could hit add missing dependencies and that will automatically include the other libraries that we need in order for the Juice DSP module to work. So I will just click that. And now it's included these other modules that we need for the Juice DSP library to actually work properly. Down at the bottom, we have exporters. Uh, so as you can see, we have our Xcode as our exporter. 
which is the IDE that we're going to be using. If I click in here, then what we'll see is that we have uh, these other sections, and these are for more for kind of advanced features, such as uh, if you want to create compiler flags, linker flags, if you have other libraries that you're trying to link, you would do that in here rather than trying to do that through your IDE. So make sure you do that all here in the producer. So the producer is a way of, of managing your whole project. And then uh, I think that's everything important. So a lot of these I've never actually even used myself, but uh, they're more kind of advanced things. And sometimes you'll have some uh, menus that are that are here in uh, debug that aren't in the main Xcode uh, section and, so, and vice versa. And then uh, what else we have is the settings menu. So up here at the top in the left, if I click project settings, then you'll see here that I can change the project name. Uh, the main thing that you want to be concerned about here is uh, adding using namespace juice to the juice header. So I explained a little bit about that in my last tutorial, juice tutorial one. So I won't go through that again. So check that tutorial if you're not sure what that means. And then down here a little bit further, the other thing you may want to change at some point is C++ language standards. So the default is C++ 14. I tend to use C++ 17. So these are just different uh, updates of C++. And if you needed to use an older version of C++, you can actually go back and you can uh, check that in. So if you were using, let's say, uh, a library, an external library that was using just C++ 11, then you may need to change the C++ language standard there. Also header search pass, if you have uh, different headers that you're trying to link in from other libraries. And that's the main thing. So once you have all of this selected, then, and you have your options created the way you like them, then what you can do is you're now ready to open this up in your IDE. And you can do that up here in the center where it says save and open an IDE. And now I've just clicked that and it will open up my Xcode project. And so then we see all of our juice modules that we included from our producer. And if we click in here, we'll see our source files, the main CPP, main component.h, main component.cpp, and those correspond with our files here. Okay. So one of the main things that I could tell you uh, that you don't want to do is that people, when they first get started with Juice, is they tend to start uh, when they want to create more source files, they'll try to do that through the IDE. So what I'll do just to demonstrate this for you is I will create a new file. So let's say I'm creating a new class or a new, um, a new source file here, then I'll just create this and I will call this test. I'll hit next and I will put this in where, where the rest of my source files are. I'll hit create. And now we have this test.cpp and test.hpp that are now here. But now what? watch what happens if I close out Xcode. So I'll close this out. And you'll notice that test.cpp and test.hpp are not in my source folder. So if I go like this and I open it back up, now those source files are actually gone. Okay, so they aren't actually in here. Okay, so what you need to do, so first thing I'll do is I will go back into the folder itself because those files actually still exist. And I can just go in here and I will delete these. So any files that you're trying to create, you need to create actually in the producer itself. Okay, so this is where you manage your whole project. So files that you're trying to create, your, also your header search paths, any sort of libraries that you're trying to link into your project, you need to do that via the producer. So the way that we could do that is by going to our file explorer, and then down here at the bottom, we just hit our plus button, 
and I will now do a, a new CPP and header file. And I will just call this, I'll call this test two. And then I'll hit save and this will create these source files. And you can actually like move them around. Um, so I'll just move them in here into the source folder. And now I'll save it and open an IDE again. And now you see those files are there. So make sure that when you're creating new source files that you're actually creating that in the producer itself and not in the IDE or else they will disappear. And that's very frustrating. So those are the basics of the producer just to get your first juice project started. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.